hello guys we are back with our next lecture in this lecture let us go through the next question okay so this question belongs to gate csc 1995 the question is for merging two sorted lists of a size m and n okay so we are having two sorted lists of a size m and n into a sorted array okay or a list we want to sort these two into this list okay so we require how many number of comparisons okay so this is a simple quite uh, logical question guys so if you recall this concept we learnt somewhere right so merging two lists so if you recall we have learnt this concept in merge sort guys so in merge sort you will combine two merged two sorted elements right two sorted arrays at the end right yes so at each and every stage while merging you will be doing this right yes if you recall what is the time complexity of that process guys because it is big of n because there are total n elements so with that same logic you can say that what will be the case here it will be big of m plus n okay so that is in terms of complexity but now the question is with respect to comparisons okay so if you recall how many comparisons do we need guys you will compare this first element with this element so here if it is one here it is two so you will compare which element is lesser this element is less so let us write that so now you will move this index to the next location again you will compare this element is less in this way you will write so if you recall to write that things how many comparisons do you need guys so once you are done with this particular array, the last element you can automatically place it here, right? So even in worst case, you will go up to m plus n minus 1 comparison because the last element can be placed directly. So in total, there will be m plus n comparison. So if you write it in asymptotic notations, it will be m plus n because 1 is a constant. Got it? So in total, we require m plus n comparisons. But few of you might be saying that, no, 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 we should not do minus 1 because at the end we will place infinity and you will even at the end you will compare them right yes so even in that situation it will be m plus n only so the conclusion of the answer will be c only right so there is no change okay yes okay so now i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question so this is just some type of a conceptual understanding question okay so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you